Hey guys, what's up? This is a video on how to contour and highlight. It's been a highly requested video, so I'm finally gonna show you all my secrets and techniques. So keep on watching. We gonna get that face flawless, honey. I'm gonna be using a Revlon foundation and a MAC concealer in shade NW35. I'm gonna use the MAC concealer first, and that's gonna cover up all my dreadful dark circles, my dark spots, and the hollows of my cheeks. And believe me when I tell you, this concealer is dope for that. I'm purposely using a darker shade because for one, I think using a darker concealer followed by your foundation will give you better coverage than using a concealer that matches your skin tone. It works for me, so it might work for you too. Now for the cheek area, I have a slight discoloration on the hollows of my cheek and since I wanna work on an even canvas, I'm using a darker concealer there as well. Okay, so I'm applying a second coat of the concealer because I can kind of see a little bit of my dark circle still, so I'm just gonna apply a second layer. Revlon Nearly Naked in the shade 200 Warm Beige is my foundation of choice. I love me some naked because it matches my skin tone to the T. I'm applying this product on where I'm going to be highlighting so that includes my cheekbones, nose bridge, chin, directly under the hollows of my cheeks. FYI, if you really want to learn to get that face bite honey, this area is very important believe it or not because it will make your cheekbones pop and I'll show you how later. Just make sure to highlight it first with your foundation. Here I'm also going over my under eye area again because remember I used a darker MAC concealer to cover the darkness so now I need to match this area to the rest of my skin tone. Oh and since I want you guys to know exactly where I'm putting all the products I'm going to go a little bit heavy on the makeup so you can get an idea of how to achieve this look. So I love contouring and that's what I always start off with. I'm using NARS in medium brown. This is by far my favorite and the best product I ever use for contouring. I use it as a base because it has a warm bronzy glow to it, but I wouldn't use it as a bronzer because it has a matte finish and I think that shimmer is better for a bronzer. This is the bronzer I use. It's by Physicians Formula. There are four shades. I use Summer, which is the darkest. By the way, in these areas, try to avoid them when applying the bronzer. It will actually make these areas look smaller, so only apply the bronzer right above the NARS powder and on the temples. See what I'm creating is shadow. We don't want a blunt divide between our light and dark areas, so the bronzer helps blend the two together. Everyone, meet Sleek. Sleek meet everyone. This is one of my secrets of creating highly defined chiseled cheekbones. I think this is um, in medium, yeah. Sleek medium, yeah, sleek medium. Um, it's pretty intense. I like to dab my brush in the powder and slightly tap it only on the hollow area. When defining your cheekbones, remember, it's all about shadow. And in order to create shadow, you need three shades. So pick yourself up a powder to contour with, a bronzer, and a highlighter. And then you'll be good to go and on your way to some really chiseled cheekbones. So I'm using Benai Banana Powder. So all the shine you see on this face is gonna disappear right before your eyes. And a word to all my girls with oily skin, this is gonna be your holy grail, guaranteed. Now since it's loose powder, I tap a little in the cap, dab my brush in, and blow off the extra powder. I started using Benai powders about a year ago. I used to really go heavy with the loose powders until I learned that less is so much more. So if you have any loose powders, lightly dab the powder on your face and slowly increase the layers as needed. I usually like to highlight under the hollows of my cheeks like I mentioned before. Um, that's definitely gonna make your cheekbones pop. I also highlight directly on my cheekbones, under my eyes, my chin, and the bridge of my nose. I use the blush from my Too Faced kit in the shade La Vie en Rose. I think that's how you pronounce it, La Vie en Rose. I think. Um, one thing I want to say about blush is that blush adds warmth back to your face. Next time you throw on makeup, throw in a little blush and I promise you it'll give you that extra glow. And speaking of glow, this is my MAC highlighter that I also use when highlighting. It's in the shade Soft and Gentle. Now this highlighter is pretty intense, so I only brush a little bit on. And I hope you can already see a difference between my right side, which has no powder, and my left side, which I just applied a little to. It's different from Benai powder because Benai gives you a nice seamless matte finish, while this powder draws light to the face, giving it a super nice glow. To contour my nose, I'm using NARS powder. What I like to do is pinch the brush so that I can have better control when contouring my nose. 
My finishing mist of choice is MAC, Prep and Prime Finishing Mist. I like this better than any other ones I've used in the past because this one adds moisture back to your skin and it gives you that freshly washed, dewy look. I'm gonna quickly add a layer of mascara since I got powder all over them. I'm just gonna add one quick coat so you guys can get an idea of the finished look. And usually when I do my makeup, I would continue on to my eyes and brows, but I'll stop here for now. And this is the finished look. Let me know if you have any questions at all. I'll be more than happy to answer them. I hope this video was detailed and clear for you guys. Let me know also what you'd like to see in upcoming videos. Oh, and also this is my hairstyle for the day. I just quickly ran a hot iron through my hair. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, and thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Peace.